Want to start ranking up fast and make it to Diamond? We all know that ultimates can be the difference between winning or losing a team fight, and even be the difference of a game lost or a game won. Deciding when to use My your ultimate half. is a key factor to winning. Too early and your team isn't ready to back you up, or too late and your team is already dead and you won't get any value from your ultimate. Today we are talking about when to press Q. My name is Greg Gowdy and I'm here to help you climb a Zenyatta. Your ultimate is a defensive ult, which means it can counter offensive ults such as Genji's Blade, Tactical Visor, Hanzo Dragon Strike, or Farah's Barrage. So before we get into how to use it to counter those ults, and when is a good time, and when is a bad time, the important factor in the equation is to have your ultimate in order to be able to counter those ultimates. To be able to charge your ultimate faster, I have made two guides on how to improve your aim and positioning, which will help you stay alive longer, which will help you charge your ultimate since you can't charge it when you are dead, and aiming better will give you more ultimate charge at a faster rate. So definitely check out those videos. They are linked in the description below, and will be at the end of this video. Before I dive into the tips, I just want to give one piece of advice while you're playing comp and trying to climb. Don't be afraid to make mistakes when you're trying to use your ultimate. Sometimes you will use it at the wrong time and maybe your teammates will be upset. Learn from that situation and experience and think about what you should have done differently so when you are faced with the same situation again, you will now know how to play it better. Also, all the footage, except a couple clips later, are from my stream. If you like this content, please come follow me on Twitch because I would love to interact and hang out with you more. As the clips are rolling through this video, there will be text saying if it was a good or bad ult, since I won't be able to address every clip that is shown. Alright, so you have your ultimate ready. When is the right time to press Q? I'll give some good general advice of times that are great to use it, but then we'll dive into some scenario specific advice. First tip. Seems basic and simple, but I still miss opportunity to use this ult at the right time. Just saving one person with your ult can make a difference. Usually we think of Transcendence as a counter to the offensive ults, and it does a great job at doing that, but there are times to keep your team up to win the fight. Let's take a second and look at this first example. We're getting close to capping the third point. We have already taken out a couple players. My Reinhardt continues to be aggressive. Maybe that wasn't wise, but hey, we are up. The fight should be won. I was being too passive with my ult, I should have used it to keep Ryan up. We could have taken out those that are on the point and then just snowballed from there. It took us 3 more minutes to cap this point because of my decision not to keep the Ryan up. What could have helped me to know to press Q is I should have had my Harmony orb on him as he went around the corner. We'll talk about Harmony Discord orb placement next week. So earlier I mentioned how your ult can counter offensive ults. Your ultimate heals at 300 health per second. So it can counter offensive ults, but be aware that Nano Blade and Barrage can kill through Trance if done correctly. So learning to counter offensive ults, like Tactical Visor, Genji Blade, Barrage, etc. is a double-edged sword. As we look at this next bad example by me, I hear the Dragon Strike go off, I look around for it and can't see it so I get nervous and pop the ultimate, which ends up being a waste. My team was so spread out it wouldn't have done that much to us, we obviously avoided it. Just because you hear the enemy's ult go off doesn't mean you need to pop transcendence. That being said, the enemy's DPS is carrying their team, that is the time to use your ultimate to counter their ult. So scenario, your team is up 6-2 to two players. The enemy player tries using his ult to solo ult you with barrage or dragon blade or etc. Is this the time to use trance? If it was me, I would say no. Your teammates will be able to finish off the last two players if they don't back off, and you can now use your ult to sustain during the next team fight. To help you know when or when not you should use your ult, you need to be keeping track of the kill feed. If your team is clearly winning the team fight, or clearly losing the team fight, that is not the right time to use your ultimate. If however, your ultimate could be the difference in keeping your team up and giving the sustainability to win the team fight, that is when you should use it. That could be 6v6, 5v5, or even if you are down one, but you notice the enemy's players are about to die, but so are your teammates. But if you keep them alive with your ultimate, you could win. That would be the time to use Transcendence. Now let us talk about three other ults that Transcendence is a good counter to. Transcendence can help keep your team alive during CC ults or crowd control ultimates such as Zarya's Graviton Surge and Reinhardt's Earthshatter or Maze Blizzard. 
If you have good reaction time, using your ult to counter these is great. But remember what was said before. Just because your ultimate can counter these ultimates, doesn't mean every time you hear those ultimates go off, and you have your ultimate, that you should press Q. Let's look at two examples of what I'm talking about dealing with Zarya's Graviton Surge. This first one shows that we don't need to use it. We are clearly winning the fight, Zarya throws in her ultimate, and the other team has no follow-up. Using my ultimate right now would have been just a waste. The next example shows the opposite. Here, there are three of my team members, plus Bob, caught in the Graviton. They didn't have a huge amount of follow-up, but Winston would have probably killed two of my teammates if I didn't pop Transcendence. You can tell because I was late deciding whether or not to use it, and if I was a tad bit slower, they would have died. This goes for Earthshatter and Maze Blizzard. If the enemy is throwing in a Hail Mary ultimate, you probably don't need to use yours. But if the ultimate is going to be a deciding factor of a team fight won or lost, this is the time to use your ultimate. Alright, here are a few technical tips about Transcendence. Transcendence can't heal when teammates are out of line of sight, through shields, or barriers. So don't be standing in an enemy Winston bubble while in your ultimate. Use Trance to get between teammate and enemy Reinhardt pin. As you've noticed, there have been a few examples of this throughout the video. The Reinhardt is focusing one player, I try to get between him and my teammate. You can use Trance to be more mobile and get placers faster. Make sure to place your Harmony and Discord Orb before using Transcendence, because you won't be able to place them on anyone while you are in Trance. We'll be talking about Orb placement next week, so remember to hit subscribe and that bell icon so you know when it goes live. And my last and final tip is if your team is popping off, or if you're popping off, because you use my two guides about positioning and improving your aim, so you're charging your ult very fast, you can be a little bit more liberal with your ult usage and try different things out, like having your team be more aggressive. All right, a little recap of what we talked about. Use your ult to counter offensive and crowd control ultimates. Assess the situation before pressing Q. Is your team winning the fight and the enemy basically wasted their ult? Don't waste yours. Is the enemy going to carry with this ultimate? If yes, press Q. If your team is clearly losing the fight, that is also a time not to press Q. Do they have follow-up with their crowd control ults? If no, don't press it. If yes, press Q. Use your ultimate to give your team or specific teammate sustainability to make sure the team fight or the round is won. Last, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You'll make plenty of them. Just take time to think about what you should have done differently and you'll be better equipped the next team fight, the next round, or the next game. Thank you for watching this video. I know these tips and the other videos that I have made will help you get to Diamond because it is what has made the difference for me. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with someone who you think it would help. It really does help me out a lot. Comment below on one tip that you think will help you or maybe one tip that I might have missed. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch my weekly videos and come follow me on Twitch. Alright, I'll see you in my Twitch chat and on the next video. Until next time though, start climbing.